All right, everybody, we have Ali Zafar in his stance reading a book. Let's see if we can interact with him. Let's do this. <clears throat> hey, Ali. Hey, How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. What are you doing? I'm reading a book. Which book is it? रेसिपीज की किताबें फिलहाल दही बल्ले बनाना सीखो। All right. Well, I'm here to cook 23 questions with 23 news. Are you up for that? Very much so. Let's do this. On a scale of one to ten, according to you, how hot are you? Scale सिर्फ ten तक है? Unfortunately, yeah. ज़्यादा कर लो। Let's do that. On a scale of one to ten, how self-obsessed are you? बारह तेरह तो होना चाहिए। which title would suit a biopic on Ali Zafar's life? Tifa in trouble? Tifa likes to be in trouble? Ya fir bhai hazir? Bhai hazir. Who do you think is the superstar of the country? Sir, ye koi puchne wali baat. Kya hoge? Koi agla sawal kare. Let's move on then. Has your world ever been rocked? Oh, like how? Many times. Rocked and rolled. And then rolled and rocked. So it's fun. <laughs> Excellent. How diplomatic are you? As diplomatic as I have to be. Makes sense. How often do you lie? Uh, once a lifetime. Name a celebrity who you love to hate. Uh, the word hate is not in my dictionary. I love everybody. Although some people I love more than the others. And some people I think can learn to love a lot more. Hmm, interesting. Are you a better actor on screen or off screen? Uh, acting takes a lot of uh, energy and uh, that energy cannot be spent off screen acting and pretending to be somebody you're not. Although mm -hmm. I think that we're all actors in our daily lives trying to play different parts and roles in different parts of our days, weeks and months and years and we all... <laughs> Biker boys are <laughs> today. So moving on, what did you learn a little too late in life? Not to trust everybody. Mm -hmm. What is something you probably should do, but will never do? Get into a real MMA fight <laughs> right. in the ring. Name a person who you think of all the time, even when you don't want to. One person? Yep. Um, well, I think the person that you're thinking about all the time is somebody that you really want to think about. So you can never not want to think about that person if you think about that person. Now, if you're also not thinking about the person that you're thinking about and he's thinking about you or she's thinking about you, it all depends on your thought and the thought process depends on your subconscious mind, which is actually behind your conscious mind. And it is also between the unconscious mind. And so all this entirety and the absoluteness of this means that you cannot think about somebody who you don't want to think about. Aha, uh -huh. noted. What was the best mistake you ever made? I think uh, letting you guys come and uh, ask me these questions. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, what is the best conspiracy theory you can make up on the spot? That I'm actually an alien sent to planet Earth for different purposes. What scrambles your brain every time you think about it? Um, is there an alternate universe, alternative universe? The question about that. Do we mm. live in other dimension? How and why? Are you a better singer, painter or actor? I think I'm, I would call myself a student of all these different art forms. They all correlated to each other. So I keep trying to improve myself. Not good at anything really. What event of the past would you most want to see a recording of? I think the first time that I saw Aisha, and she saw me, that, that moment I would like to see a recording of. Because my bear is still there, who saw it before? Alright. So what lie do you wish you never learned the truth of? Uh, well, found out something about somebody and I wish that I hadn't found that out. So, yeah. so how much of the bad stuff that happens to you is your fault? Well, I don't believe in good and bad. It's all relative, different points in your life. I think anything that you think is bad that's happening um, can actually be really good for you if you look at it from that point of view. So it really depends on your perspective towards your incidents in life and different things that happen in life. Yeah. True. 
which event in your past has come back to haunt you? Event in my past that's come back to haunt me. Yep. Nothing's come back to haunt me, yeah, really. I mean, everything, all the events, they... For me, I mean, I have such beautiful memories regarding all the events in my life because at that time you may feel that, you know, why did this thing happen or what was the purpose and all that, but you ultimately realize that it's all connected. It was meant to help you get from point A to point B. So nothing really comes back to haunt. Only it does probably to those people who've done something bad with ill intention in, in their life to somebody in particular and never bothered to say sorry or confess to it. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've intentionally ever done that. If I have ever unintentionally hurt your heart, then I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, I don't think that uh, something, anything really haunts me. All right, moving on. Ali, last three questions are rapid fire. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah, <clears throat> ready. Channo or Mela Lutlia? Uh, Channo. Tifa in trouble or Tere Bin Laden? Uh, Tifa in trouble. <laughs> Bollywood or Lollywood? Uh, Pakistan film industry. Damn. That's beautiful. Ali, thank you so much for your time. You can That's get it. back to your book. That's about it. Yep. You camera up up now? Uh, uh, no. Huh? Uh, uh, no. Uh, you know what? You know what we're leaving. <laughs>